So here's Project Hindsight, Department of Defence, weighing in in 1967, looking at 20 military innovations, such as the ICBM, and looking at what research events preceded them and made them possible. And then analysing those preceding critical research events as either technology or science, and their study concluded 95% of them were directed towards a need, they were more applied, i.e. this was demand pull being more important. One crucial problem, they only looked back 20 years. Obviously the scientists weren't too happy with that result, so NSF funded a rival study, Project Traces, which, similar methodology, five commercial, sorry, civil innovations, contraceptive pill, videotape recorder, uh, what were the scientific and technological events that preceded them and made them possible, but they looked back about 100 years or so. And they got completely the opposite answer. 70% of those research events were non-mission oriented, i.e. it's all to do with science push. NIH, not to be outdone, commissioned their study looking at innovations in cardiovascular medicine uh, and the research that underpinned them. And they concluded that it was basic research that was more important and somehow or other arrived at the conclusion that basic research pays off twice as handsomely a finding off which NIH lived very well for the next 20 years or so. Uh, a piece of work that did have a major impact on policy, even if methodologically it's rather dubious. Rather more balanced work came from our colleagues at Manchester, 